नियमर को बारे में जानकारी कराने चाहूँ नानी हम चार मिनट को समय उपलब्ध कराने चार मिनट को समय में आपको विषय वस्तु कुरा सब राखी सकू पर्ने जब तीन मिनट हो हमी टिंग घंटी बजा जनाऊ दिने बाकी रह एक मिनट में आपूली आप स्पीच टुंग्यान पर्ने निम अर्क निम आप पाल में आने भाग पांच मिनट अगड़ी शीर्षक उपलब्ध कराइने अर्क नानी स्कूल को नाम आपको नाम भनी राख् पर्दन सर कोड नंबर दून पिछाड़ी कोड नंबर भन्न पर्च रि नहीं छोटो निम रहा पैला ब्राइट स्टार भूपेन्द्र राजवंशी प्रेजेंटेशन का निमित्त हार्दिक अनुरोध कर आफ्टरनून एवरी वन रेस्पेक्टेड जजेस चेयरपर्सन टीचर्स एंड अल अफ माई डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम ग्लैड टू स्टैंड इन फ्रंट अफ यू अल एंड टू टेक पार्ट इन एक्सटेम्पोरी स्पीच कंपिटिशन आई एम हैप्पी टू गेट दिस गोल्डन अपर्चुनिटी टू टेक पार्ट टू to deliver my short and sweet speech on democracy for development thank you uh, bobin bhai aba anush karna lai aapno prastuti rakhdinaka lagi hardik anurodh gardachu on this very uh, opportunity of literacy day i want to start my speech uh, by a short proverb that the capacity to learn is a gift the ability to learn is a skill and the willingness to learn is a choice Happy Literacy Day to you all. A warm, a very warm welcome and good afternoon to honourable chairperson, chief guest, guest, respected judges, my dear friends, participants, and everyone present here. Firstly, I would like to uh, thank the uh, Papsan Badrapur for or being the organizer of this extempore speech competition and providing us students a stage for showing our talent. This is myself from the school code number 12 i am really uh, glad and find this a state of honor to stand in front of you all and express some of my opinions on the following topic importance of air transportation as humans we need facilities and services move from one place to another place uh, transportation is one of the cheapest and the most common means of uh, facilities that we get in today's life transportation is a process of moving from uh, one place to another place either people goods or supplies the development of transportation in nepal started since 2013 bs the first uh, road transportation the first pathway was established by king tribhuvan on uh, 2013 bs and the longest ever calculated uh, highway of uh, nepal is said to be uh, Mahindra Highway and now there is also another form of transportation in Nepal as air transportation the development of trans uh, air transportation in Nepal was since 1953 there are almost 54 airports in Nepal most of them work throughout the year air uh, air transportation has helped us civilians and citizens a lot now it has become very useful and very convenient for a person to travel from Badrapur to Kathmandu in just 45 minutes this is all uh, because of uh, modern technology and air transportation the government has also put up some effort on uh, developing this air transportation and its means at contrast i want to say that air transportation is very useful for very useful for uh, school thank you thank you anush uh, now next uh, candidate aryan koirala good morning ladies and gentlemen it's me a student of code number 15 standing in front of you and i would like to give a warm welcome to you all first of all i have a reason for standing in front of you all and that reason is to talk about the importance of electric appliances first of all what are the electric appliances those goods which are used or which run from the electricity is called electric appliances today we are surrounded all over with electric appliances appliances and it is a very most essential part of our life electric appliances has become the most uh, developing sector of any aspect and it has uh, developed the whole world in a new way it has created a new era for this world and uh, in today's the 21st century we all know that how important electric appliances are we use washing machine uh, we use television for information we use radio and even internet even if we don't have any electric appliances we can't even use the internet which have become a biggest boon 
for our life and it is the most essential part of our life we all know how it is Im important you all can take example of your own life like from day to day activities we all use electric appliances the absence of electric appliances can make a huge difference in our lifestyle and it has huge difference in our lifestyle and it can also impact the aspect of anyone's behavior uh, anyone intelligence or anything we all know from day to day activities we use uh, many type of electric appliances uh, we use many type of electric appliances and we use them in a repetition process to, if you use tv today you will use tv in another day also and it has been a great aspect it's not like you don't use tv in another day you always use tv in every day and it shows that the importance of electric appliances in human life is playing a great role and it has also been a very well developed sector and by saying this much uh, i by saying this much i want to conclude my speech and I would like to take leave from here. Thank you. Thank you, Aryan. Rob, next candidate, Iman Gopal, or I go and carry around. Honorable chairperson, respected chief guest, distinguished guest, impartial judges, principals, teachers, representatives of different schools, and all my dear friends. With full of respect, namaste, and a warm good, good afternoon to you all. My name is Iman Limbu from Standard 10, representing to court number 16. Today I am over here in front of you all in order to deliver a short speech on the topic of recycling and reuse. And it follows like this, recycling. It simply is a term which refers to the process of reusing those waste materials up to their full extent. We are in a world where everything is limited. Even the ultimate source of energy is money. These all things are limited. So if we know the use of recycling, we can play an important role by preserving them in a proper way. Reusing the, those waste products can help us a lot. It can give a huge number of huge amount of benefits to us. It can it helps us to prevent from different types of pollutions like water pollution, air pollution, land pollution, and all materials like plastics, blood bottles. This can be reused, and we can be able to preserve it in a proper amount. Recycling, it helps in elevation of environmental degradation. We can be able to preserve environmental conservation in a simple and complex way. The, those non-renewable sources like petroleum products, coal, this also can be replaced through different types of source of alternative source of energy like electricity it is an eco-friendly energy source which can help us in source of like heat light in order to develop different kinds of modern technologies and as well as vehicles by saying this much i would like to conclude my short speech on this topic here thank you thank you iman our next candidate uh saksham dal respected chairpersons vice chairpersons chief guest guests uh, teachers brothers sisters and all my dear friends it's me, Saksham Dahal from grade 9, belonging to the code number, school code number 17. First of all, I'd like to thank Bodhrobar Pepson for organizing, organizing such a special and educating program. I am here to deliver a speech and the topic given to me is tourism and economic development. First of all, tourists are the person who usually, usually tour the whole world for their acknowledgement, knowledge, betterment. Tourists usually visit the place who has, which it has a uh, economic and historical religious site. For example, Nepal is also one of the that country where tourists usually visit. Tourists do, do not visit to their modern technology era. Uh, tourists usually visit the old and historical places. The number of tourists visiting in Nepal are in, where was increased. But due to this pandemic COVID-19, the number of tourists who have visited the Nepal was decreased. So the place where user, tourists usually live, the, that place will be develop the place where uh, road are not being connected that should be uh, facilitated full that should be fully facilitated nepal government also should keep the development nepal government also should think about the development where tourists usually go and visit for the uh, feedback of nepal tourism and economic development of nepal is very good thank you uh, thank you saksham 
अब निशान गिरी अनरेबल चेयरपर्सन चीफ गेस्ट डिग्निफाइड गेस्ट इक्वेली अनर सोशल पर्सनलिटीज टीचर रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फ्रम डिफ्रेंट वेल स्ट्रीम डी स्कूल्स एन इंटायरली रिप्रेजेंटिंग माइ पार्टिसिपेटिंग एंड नॉन पार्टिसिपेटिंग फेलोज आई वॉन्ट टू अफर माई वार्म नमस्ते टू यू ऑल एंड द मार्क्स द मेम्बर्स अफ द जूरी बोर्ड हु आर हियर टू इवालुएट एज एन एक्सप्रेशन एंड टू गिव फेयर रिपोर्टिंग जजमेंट विद द स्किल्स अफ जस्टिस इन द एप लेडिज एंड जेंटलमेन द बॉय स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट अफ यू विद द बॉन्ड अफ इम्प्रेशन एंड ऑप्टिमिस्टिक थॉट इन इज माइंड इज मी माई सेल्फ डैश डैश एंड आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्रेस माई हार्ट फेल ग्रेटिट्यूड एंड रिवरेंस टू द ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कमिटी फॉर गिविंग मी दिस वंडरफुल अपॉर्चुनिटी टू एक्सप्रेस माई व्यू ऑन अ बॉडी इज यू ट्रेवलिंग ब्रोडन्स द माइंड एज वी नो डैट वी ह्यूमन वी आर ह्यूमन बींग्स वी हैव द नेचर ऑफ क्यूरियसिटी वी ट्रेवल मेनी प्लेसेज ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड वेन वी ट्रेवल वी केम टू नो मेनी थिंग्स सच एज सेल्समैन ट्रेवल फॉर बिजनेस मेनी साइंटिस्ट ट्रेवल फॉर रिसर्च एंड मेनी पीपल ट्रेवल फॉर एंड देयर यूजफुल वर्क ट्रेवलिंग इज मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट फैक्टर फॉर स्टूडेंट लाइक गर्स वेन वी ट्रेवल वी केम टू नो अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स सच एज वेन वी ट्रेवल वेन वी केम टू नो द वेन वी ट्रेवल वी केम टू नो द रियल एक्सपीरियंसेज वी कैन सॉल्व आवर डाउट्स डैट वी हैव लर्न फ्रॉम आवर बुक्स वेन वी ट्रेवल वी कैन कनेक्ट विद द पीपल डायरेक्टली एंड वी कैन नो द कल्चर ट्रेडिशन रिचुअल्स हाउ द पीपल लिव एंड हाउ दे आर लिविंग दियर वी कैन ऑल्सो नो द क्लाइमेट कंडीशन ऑफ द प्लेस वन कैन टेक द फुल एडवांटेजेस ऑफ ट्रेवलिंग वेन हियर सी हेज द आईज टू सी इयर टू हियर एंड क्यूरसिटी टू लर्न वन कैन ट्रेवल एंड सॉल्व हिज अर डाउट्स वन कैन ट्रेवल एंड लर्न Uh, one can travel and solve his or her doubts and can learn of various things such as when we travel our mind will broaden when we travel our mind will be fresh when we isn't it do you agree with me yeah. yes when we travel our mind will be fresh we came to know a lot of things when we travel so if you also get a free and leisure time you need to travel various things we have various beautiful places on nepal to travel and to broaden our mind at last i want to conclude myself telling that traveling is the most useful thing for a student like us and traveling broadens our mind if we get leisure time to travel then we need to travel various things such as pokhara mustang muktinang etc we can travel various places such as i have already discussed the places name uh we student like us can solve our doubts that we have studied in on our books like if we study the places like lumbini on our books then we i am sure that we cannot solve the uh, solve our doubts by uh, just reading itself in our book but when we came to know when we travel the place lumbini we can solve our doubts we can look the places and experience it in our real life so i want to conclude myself telling that traveling is the most important factor for a student like us and we need to travel whenever we get a free and leisure time in this way i want to conclude my speech here thank you everyone for listening me have a wonderful day thank you nishan giri now next candidate sisam rai honorable chief persons respected uh, judges uh, and all my dear friends and inviters pa participators not participators uh, i like to say good mo- good afternoon to you Uh, I'm here. I'm in front of you to deliver a speech on the topic of global warming and climate change. Uh, uh, global warming, uh, global warming refers to the uh, increase of temperature. Uh, it refers, uh, it increase, it is occurred due to the uh, more production of greenhouse gases in uh, environment. When we, uh, when we, uh, when we use more natural resources like. I, uh, metals and that more things uh, we need environment uh, not industries uh, for uh, uh, making it for uh, making it u- in use we we forgot that our environment al- is also necessary for our human kinds and living uh, uh, global warming uh, is the reason or uh, reason of fact that uh, climate change occurs uh, global warming is one of the most reason that uh, climate change uh, gets uh, in get in, get occurs uh, in earth 
if the industries are uh, mostly used uh, mostly used for producing uh, the gases so uh, carbon dioxide and more chlorofluorocarbons uh, uh, and greenhouse gases it it, uh, it destroys the ozone layer which uh, which is used to stop the greenhouse gases and more products more production of greenhouse gases is uh, done. Global warming is the effect of uh, effect that uh, uh, um, people may do not get oxygen because uh, global warming used to dry the earth surface, uh, earth surface, uh, and it used to it used to reduce water from uh, uh, earth. Global warming is one of the most most uh, increasing uh, increasing environmental uh, increasing uh, pollution now i would like to conclude my short speech thank you see some and now next candidate aryan sah good afternoon everyone honorable chairperson respected judges teachers distinguished guests all my brother and sisters and my dear friend today in this fine afternoon it's me aryan sah from uh, Ariansa and my code number is 24 and today I am here to deliver a short and sweet speech and the topic of my speech is politics of Nepal and political culture. Politics of Nepal and a political culture. A very common, a very interesting topic, isn't it? Politics of Nepal. In simple words, the present government or the present government or political party which is ruling our country or the constitution or the supreme law of the country that is simply known as the politics of Nepal. Hal. In Nepal, in the world, which is known as the one of the developing country in the world, all, all, and this this Nepal is developing country. Why it is a developing country? Here a question arises. The simple fact why Nepal is democracy that uh, not developing country, just a developing country. I think is because because of corruption. Corruption and not only corruption, corruption happening, happening in politics. Politics, corruption happening in politics. It's like if you want to talk about the past of Nepal, then for politics, for establishing politics, politics and democratic, making Nepal as a democratic country, different kind of movements has been taken on for Nepal. And if you want to talk about Nepal politics, then at present the Prime Minister of Nepal is Sher Bahadur Deva. And Nepal politics. Politics in the world is one, known as the one of the most dirtiest game. If you want to talk about politics, then there always comes a corruption, one of the biggest thing, corruption. And in the world, our country, Nepal, is also in a, a very much uh, that high ranking in corruptions, and, uh, corruption. And people, people for doing, you know, we have all have, you know, yeah? We have even realized in our life that uh, for doing any work, for an, doing any Government, uh, government work. We have to take. We have to do corruption. Like if you are waiting for a, if you are going to do for a development project, then and my do it my fast, do it fast for me. Like this, the corruption is taken, and this thing is hindering the development of country. And not only that much. In country, our country Nepal is is known as political instability country. Political instability country. In simple, simple sense, it means change of politics in a sudden, in a suddenly, like. So from uh, MLA to uh, MLA to uh, MLA to another party, it is called it is simply called as political instability. And our country is known as political instability country. And due to this, the plans are made. The plans are made, but due to sudden change of government, the plans are not implemented. And due to this, this not not, not implementation of plan and the development work is not done. And if plans are implemented, then also then also. If plans are made, then also not implemented. And if plans are implemented, then also time to time not checking of that plans. Like it's a, that does it has any positive effect in our country or negative effect in our country. And another thing is political culture. Political culture. It is a in simple sense. It means it's how our country politics is. How our country politics is. It is known as political culture. If there is a if there is selection, if political culture, if you want to talk about political culture, then if the selection of uh, politics, political parties by different bodies that, that is constitutional body, national assembly, it is called uh, political culture. In our country, one of the in our country, uh, one of the political co political. If you want to talk about politics, is then uh, our country is known as one of the democratic country. Also, we as as we know, and for that many people have many movements has been taken. Like and in democracy was established in 2007, and uh, politics of Nepal, politics of Nepal.
politician. At last, I want to say that our country is in danger, and uh, if this political instability and corruption is going to take in our country, then our country from childhood, which we are listening as a developing country, developing country will never be a developed country. So the youth will come um, to in the politics like Balenca. In, uh, if you want to take example, then Balenca, Kathmandu. In Kathmandu, he is our sir, that uh, he is he is now right now mayor of Kathmandu, and he is a youth, and he is doing a lot of changes in politics. And not only just one youth has has been uh, stand up, and and by that different politics parties has also been in uh, that different politics parties has also been in uh, and. Different politics has been scared, and they have also the one who used to do bad work, the one who used to not do not do work if it's effectively. They are also they are all everyone's eyes are wake up open, and everyone's every political parties every. Every political parties is doing for the development, but like balance are different pro organizations, different uh, and works so social works which are being done Th by selling this much. So, Aaron sir, now honorable Khadga. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> honorable chief guests, guests, respected teachers, brothers, sisters, and my dear friends. It's me presenting code number 25, going to deliver a short speech on the topic science as a boon and course. Science is also known as boon because science has helped us in many, many technologies like in transportation. In, when we travel a long places, science has helped us because uh, in a short period of time we can travel a long, long distance. Also science has helped us in AI technology. Science has, helped, science has made our life very easy or convenient and also reliable. Also science has uh, course because science has course because uh, we Science has also made our life very slow, uh, slow, and it has also affect our daily life. Science it 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 creates a very very bad impact on the mind of children. Thank you, thank you, Anumal Khadka. Now Chitis Thapa, honourable chairperson, chief uh, chief guest, all the um, panels of judges, respective teachers, and my dear friends. Today, me Chitis Thapa of Grade Ten. Today we are here to deliver a short speech on the topic of community forest in Nepal uh, from the code number 26. Firstly, I would like to thank the firstly I would like to thank the uh, firstly I would like to thank the um, person community for giving me such a great opportunity to deliver uh, to stand in front of you and deliver uh, a speech to share my views, opinions, and thoughts. As we know, natural resources has played a great role in the development of the country. Nepal is very rich in natural resources, um, like. It is, it, is, uh, it is rich in natural resources, in water resources, forest, etc. It has attracted a majority of tourists in our country. Like, like uh, forest, has, forest is one of the major reasons for the, um, for the attraction of tourists. We, uh, Nepal, has, Nepal has also, uh, through, uh, through these natural resources, Nepal has on, uh, on the foreign policy, these are some advantages. So, community community forest helps to uh, helps to community uh, community forest helps to um, on the community forest helps to community uh, community forest community forest over the people by um, by uh, over the people by launching awareness programs to uh, to conserve the forest and uh, maintain its beauty because uh, because it is the because tourists tourists don't like the like the uh, at last I want to say that we must make people aware about the resources of a country like forest and make them aware to control the um, natural beauty of it because it is our pride pride and we must preserve it by saying this one I like conduit message thank you. See this our last candidate Stephen Wright is for that KDR Gopal or Ayego sir KDR like Tayari Bhar Austin Basti Namo Adi Konud Garda Chu. Uh, teachers, my competitors, brothers and sisters, and and all my dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon to you all. Uh, I am very, I am very much glad and thankful for delivering a speech on the topic of importance of personal hygiene. Hygiene is all about the cleanliness and sanitation of our body. Uh, we should make our body always neat and clean. And there is a uh, lots of things from which we can make our body clean and. Uh, the uh, people of nowadays, the people are more using smoking, alcohol, and etc. Uh, we should say we should not use our smoking because it will affect our health and also affect the environment. So we have to minimize uh, smoking and this 
all things uh, so we have to we should not use uh, these types of things and uh, we have to wash and clean up our body regular regular take bath and other etc and the most thing is we should be always neat and clean and it will make our body always healthy it will protect from the germs and diseases harmful diseases while going outside we should put max and we and while coming home we have to wash our hand twice so it will make our body uh, far from a disease so uh, we all have to uh, be always clean uh, there is a there is a many importance of personal hygiene and uh, the personal hygiene is uh, personal hygiene helps us in uh, very 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 it will teach us to be a cleanliness and the people if people be the clean neat and clean and it will be a healthy and if you will be healthy then it will can get uh, proper uh, it will perform a proper uh, proper performance in every sector uh, where they can uh, give their 100 percent and uh, the most important things is the uh, people uh, we use a uh, wash our hand and there's lots of things uh, i want to uh, say that we should always uh, be clean uh, wherever we are and for the new generation we have to uh, say be always cleanliness and if they become uh, fit and healthy the our country is also developed and also it will help in uh, our economic growth etc uh, uh, i want to conclude my speech by doing this much and uh, we all have to be always neat and clean and uh, we 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 Always be uh, neat and clean. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Our boys category ko sakye ko cha. Our girls category under God ko nani alaimo bola uno lagi rey ko chhu. Our girls category under God poilu number ma Grishma Thapa. I would like to uh, start my speech by um, the day of my third. And the day of my third is if uh, we should always do better because. Uh, we grow a plant today, we'll harvest tomorrow. Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. Today is Thursday, September 8th. Happy Literacy Day to you all. A warm welcome and good afternoon to the chief guest, guest of honor, chairperson, honorable principal sir, respected teachers, and all the participants who are present over here. I, Grisma Thapa, from code number 12, is standing in front of you to, to express my views on the topic of global warming. As you all know that global warming is the increment in weather due to the increment of greenhouse gases, pollution, smoke and dust from industry and factories and its main cause is deforestation. The problem of global warming in our earth should be prevented by we human beings. It's our role and duty to protect and preserve our earth from global warming. To prevent our earth from global warming, we should, we human beings should do public awareness and providing knowledge and education to the uneducated and illiterate people who are really unknown about the causes and problems which are happening in our earth just like global warming so to prevent this problem and to overcome with this problem we human beings have to save our forest and less use of chemical chemical fertilizers insecticide pesticides in our land and also we should reduce reduce chemical which which has been flowed to the banks of the river from industry and our factories. So it's our responsibility is we all human beings should protect and preserve our art, nature, natural resources and should overcome this problem like global warming. By saying this much, I would like to conclude my speech. Thank you. Have a good, have a good day. Uh, Grishma Nanilai, thank you very much. Ria Tamangopalo. Ria Pishpasat Kormurungopalo. Good afternoon, 
afternoon to you all honorable chairperson good afternoon to you all honorable chairperson presented guest teachers from different school my participated friends as well as unparticipated friends it's me representing the code number 15 and the and standing in front of you to deliver a short speech on the topic unemployment problem in Nepal. What's unemployment? The person who doesn't have work or who doesn't work is called unemployment. Nepal is causing the problem of unemployment in Nepal nowadays. Unemployment people, Nepal is a developing country and Nepal has to be a developed develop country in today's world. The people who are on Thank you. Priya, now Karma Guru. Honorable Chairperson, respected Chief Guest, distinguished impartial judges, and representatives from different schools. I'm Karma Guru from Greenfield School, and my code number is 16. And today I'm going to talk about role of private school in education development. Education. Education means thank you. Uh, okay, thank you, Karma. Now, uh, Kriti Nepal. Good afternoon, everyone. Respected chairperson, vice chairperson, vice chairperson, panel of judges, teachers, brothers, sisters, and all my dear friends. Today, me, Kriti Nepal, standing in front of you to deliver a short speech on the topic of use and misuse of mobile phone. Before I start my topic, I want to thank the Pepson organi organization for giving this for giving me this golden opportunity. Now I want to start my topic, use and misuse of mobile phone. Mobile phone is a very important thing in human life. Many people are using mobile phone, but due to lockdown, many people are addicted to mobile phone, which has become a rare problem, rare problem to home to home. Mobile phone has become, become a very dangerous to everyone because not only, not only the young one, but also the smaller one also started to using the mobile phone in a very bad manner if we use the mobile phone in a positive way we can develop our nation but if we but if we use in a negative way we can obviously it will be a negative by saying this i want by saying this i want to complete my speech thank you uh, thank you Akriti. now you need thank you sir good afternoon everyone honorable chairperson respected panel of judges today's special guest principals and teachers from different schools and everyone present here. Today, in this World Literacy Day, I am studying as a competitor. My today's code number is 18. Moving further to the topics, my today's topic is reverse and development. As we all know that, Nepal is one of the most beautiful country in the world, which lies in the heart of continent. Rivers. There are many rivers in Nepal. There are many rivers in Nepal, which helps in the country's economy. Which, which is also the backbones of countries because rivers provide rivers rivers attracts tourists tourists which uh, which may which helps in countries economy there are many rivers like bagmati kosi meji and many others may, while visiting while rivers is used for different purposes like like for rafting right rafting and many others. Rivers and deep, rivers are supplementary to development. While visiting our countries and while 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 visiting our countries, many tourists many tourists throw wishes wishes near side of the rivers, which makes the rivers disattracted. And not only that, many tourists not only that, many tourists makes the rivers dirty.
Nepal. By saying this much, I would like to conclude my short speech here. Thank you and have a nice day, everyone. Thank you, Yunika. Now, Priyanka Rajbangsi. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, in this fine day, I would like to speak over the brain drains in the development. Many people are going to foreign countries and uh, going to get uh, education. That is simply is brain drain. Because of this years, our, our country is not becoming the development. By saying this was I want to complete my speech. Thank you, Priyanka Rajbangsi. Now, any mother? Honorable chairpersons, respective panels of judges, all the invitees, participants, teachers and all my dear friends, good afternoon. I came here from a school whose code number is 23. I'd like to thank my school for giving me this golden opportunity to express my view on the topic of impact of television. Television has positive and negative impacts. Uh, for instance, television if we, look, if we watch television for a long period of time, then it can affect to our eye that we may be blind. Likewise, if we look TV for instant amount of time, then we can, we can, we can get lots of news, news, whatever having in our country. Nowadays, many youths are attracted towards television, but if, if, Likewise, this like only if children are attracted towards television, then their eyesight may be, may be affected by television. But we need to stop this. We should look for a short period of time for gaining knowledge, news, etc. Uh, television also affect development activities. Uh, tele from television, uh, we can we can learn so many things that we cannot learn from book also television each television is good for our health to look <laughs> but for a um, short period of time now i like to conclude my speech by saying that we should look television in a short period of time for a not long period of time. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Eni Magar. Now, Yunisha Khatri. Thank you so much, host. Honorable chairperson, the chief guest, dignified guests, other social personalities, respected jury members, and all my competitive as well as non-competitive friends, and all teachers from different schools. It's me, and today I'm here representing code number 24, and the topic for my speech today is drug abuse and its impact in life. Before going deep down into the topic, I want to give a short introduction of what actually a drug is. A drug is a toxic, a toxic substance that affects a person's life, both mentally and physically. And using that same drug in excessive amount, it is known as drug abuse. And, we, and as we all know that everything, every thing in this world has its advantages and its disadvantages. Like, like that, drug, or drug also has its own advantage and its own disadvantage. Coming to the advantage, drugs is also used in making medicines and curing, very, uh, and curing many diseases. Whereas, uh, coming to the disadvantages, drug also hinders the development of a country. When a person becomes addicted to drug, then he or she cannot think. He or her or uh, him, uh, his or her mind become un uh, unconscious and he or she cannot take decision by her own. And also when uh, people get addicted to drugs, then uh, people, uh, people started, uh, people start to do domestic violence in the family. There will, no, there will be no peace in the society, everyday violence and screaming and fighting. It is all because of drug abuse. When a person becomes addicted to drug, then he or she, when he or she does, uh, does not get enough money to buy such toxins, such, such harmful toxins, then he or she does, uh, uh, does commit criminal activity including uh, including murder theft uh, raping and other such uh, very um, sad um, <sighs> criminal activities also when when people get addicted to drugs then he or she cannot develop a country 
because he or she cannot even think about herself how is she how is her hygiene she cannot think about these things all she or he thinks is about drug abuse uh, or drug and how she can earn money to buy such toxins and when he or she does not get such um, money uh, such a uh, when he or she doesn't get enough money, then he or she start becoming a criminal. He or she becomes danger for a society. Because he or she does not have conscious mind and can do anything at any time. So such people should be educated. Such people should be helped by many organizations. And uh, our country Nepal should uh, provide more conscience regarding, regarding this matter. Uh, many youths of our country, Nepal, is uh, involved in drug abuse and they are not even thinking about its consequences. And because of that, it is also hindering the development of our country, Nepal. Because when youths are, developing, uh, when youths are uh, involved in such drug abuse, then how will they be able to develop, uh, to develop our country when they are not even able to think about themselves? Then how will, we they, how will they be able to think about our country? And at last, overall, what I want to say is that drug abuse is very bad and for, uh, for our health, for the, uh, for the development of our country. So th this is the reason that we should help the people. We should have the people who are drug, uh, who are addicted to drugs, and uh, we should not discourage them. Instead, we should encourage them. By saying this much, I want to conclude my speech. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Yunisha. Now, Naina Agrawal. Honorable Chairperson, Chief Guest, respect, uh, Chief Guest, uh, Panel of Judges, respective teachers, and my dear friends. My school code is 26. I am, in, is, I am in front of standing in front of you all to deliver a short speech on the topic of mountains of Nepal. Firstly, I would like to thank to Pepson Committee who gave such a golden opportunity to me and all the participants present here. And my speech begins. Nepal is our country name is Nepal. Nepal is a landlocked country. The word Nepal is derived from two magical words, me and Pala. Nepal is a very rich country. By saying this much, I would like to conclude my speech here. Thank you. Now, Sovereign Pravin. Last candidate, please come. Honorable Chairperson, distinguished guests, members of the judging committee, honorable principal, teachers, my fellow competitors, and all my junior and brothers, and all my well wishers. A very good afternoon to you all. Today, me a contestant of, uh, to, present, to represent code number 29, I'm here for expressing my views to you all. Today, I'm here and I'm very grateful to the committee, to the submitting, uh, to the representing committee and school authority to give me this golden opportunity to speak something in front of you. Today, I'm going to speak about on the topic of natural resources and the forest resources and the medicinal resources of Nepal. Here I'm going to speak about the medicinal resources of Nepal. As we all know Nepal is a biodiversity country. We can find that Nepal has been categorized into three different regions, Himal, Torai and Hilly region. We can find that all the hilly regions, mountain region and Torai region has been categorized in three regions with three different variations and it has carries its certain it has been carries its certain qualities nepal has got most of the forests and timbers with most of the medicinal plants as we know that people are getting very sick nowadays and they mostly uses the modern medicines for treating their disease and sicknesses and illness we can find that the medicines used by the modern technologies has been used as a chemical reactions, we can find that before the peoples were very healthy and they would be exist till the last of 80 years because they used to use the traditional medicines, they used to use all the available for uh, medicines which was available on the forest. They used to use it Ayurvedic which was really very useful to them. Now I agree that people were you know, getting okay before using this scientific medicines but now people are getting very sick nowadays because of using this chemical medicines we can find that people are using medicines they get sick but they get okay for some time but 
doesn't mean that they are okay with this medicines. We know that uh, we can find many forests and under that forest we can find lots of medicines like Tulsi, Amla, Yarsagumba, Pantole. These are the common rare medicines which we can find in Nepal. Nepal is such a rich country in medicinal herbs so as if they produce it as well and export to the other countries it's ultimately going to benefit the nation. If we export the medicinal herbs in a proper way it is obvious that Nepal are going to be on the top level of development as we know that Nepal is really a very rich country on medicinal herbs if we export it legally and usefully Nepal is gonna be sure developed country if we use it very well I'm sure that Nepal will always be on the top of most level in this all. As we know that Nepal is a very small country, though it carries lots of benefits in that world, so as if we export those all medicines to the other countries, we are ultimately going to be very rich on our economy, not only in the economy, but if people use the Ayurvedic medicines more than the modern technologies, it is sure that it is going to save their life as more as we must try to save it. And if we save the people life for once, it is sure that the whole family is going to be happy. And if the whole family is going to be happy, it is sure that the whole society is going to be happy. And if the whole society is going to be happy, the ultimately the whole nation is going to be happy, which will create the very vast impact and a very good impact on the development of the nation. We know that Nepal has been uh, we know that Nepal has various uh, medicines which really gives them a very good impact. So if Nepal utilizes this well, I'm sure that one day they are gonna to be on the topmost level. So at the last I would like to say all the people's more than modern medicines, I suggest them to use medicinal herbs of Ayurvedic medicines so as to protect their life and I would like to request all the candidates here so as they can inform this and make them aware people about how to use the Ayurvedic medicines and get rid of the and get rid of the modern medicines so as they can protect the life of their own and their families, their society and their nation which will ultimately help them. Thank you very much. Thank you, Miss Pravin. Our uh, English extempo is Mr. Fago, Savi Savagi, Palo Soki Soki, Guyana, Jan Karigarona Chansu.